So you've just bought your motorhome or your caravan and now you're wondering, well, where do we take it? Where, where do we go? Never fear, Avuda is here. Avuda RV motorhomes and caravans won't just sell you these Marvel machines. They actually want you to get out and go places and use them. So Avuda has provided this valuable information from real world travelers out here on the road, just like us, just for you so you can enjoy this beautiful country also in your brand new rv <laughs> so you are going to love the free or low cost camps that we've stayed in across every state in australia and you're going to love them free camps low cost camps we've traveled them all and we are yeah. about to show you our top tips for all the places that you can stay at across this beautiful country it's exciting eh? yeah very <laughs> can't wait to show you <laughs> Now first cap off the rank, we're going to hit South Australia and I, I did this state first because it's the first state we did on our first lap. So some great memories for us. Plushes Bend on the Murray River. Sure was. This was an awesome one right on the river. We felt like we were a million miles from anyone else. It was 10 bucks. Yeah. Right on the river, you can swim. Happy days. <laughs> oh my God, Port Gibbon on the Eyre Peninsula. We all love this spot, kids included. We were able to park up on the uh, cliff edge and walk down to the beach, the sand. We went for a swim, just unreal. Again, 10 bucks. And we checked this out, guys, it still is 10 bucks. Can you believe it? And, and we again, had the joint to ourselves. And you feel like a million miles away from anyone again. Yeah. Elliston, South Australia, still in SA, Walker's Rocks Campground. It was 10 bucks, it's now 20. That's right. That, that's low cost. One of the best beaches we've swam in. The temperature of the water was fabulous. It was flat, it was turquoise. The kids loved it. You can drive your four wheel drive on the beach. It yeah. was just fantastic. A great spot. Certainly recommend this one. Met some good friends there too. <laughs> My goodness, one of Australia's draw cards. And I'd say Shannon's top pick. Yeah, this, this really is in my top five all around the country. South Australia, Bundercliffs at the Great Australian Bite, and it's for free. It's the best price. Whatever you do, though, restrain your kids. It's a long way down if you go over that edge. And if it's too windy, don't fly your drone. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Hart Campground. If you're heading up the centre to go to Cooper Pedy, That's where you'll stay. That's where you'll stay. A huge, big salt lake. Unbelievable, free, a lot of campers there, spectacular, spectacular sunsets. Yeah, it was. Now, last one in South Australia, Cooper Pedy. Also the best price, there's a free camp spot in the centre of town, guys, can you believe it? The old timers mine, that's where everyone camps. You'll make great like-minded people in the outback. Yes, it's dusty, but oh, get it between your teeth. And you can and walk just... up to the main street, so it's awesome. Yep, live it. Live it and love it. That's where you'll be. Moving across to Western Australia. Oh, first cab off the rink. We come out guns blazing. We were at Cozy Corner. It's just out of Albany. Torbay, WA. It was, it was for free when we did our first lap in 2021. Now it's 15 bucks. But guys, that's cheap. There was Dump Point there. Bring your own water, but the location is spectacular. It's right on the coast, so your campsite, you step out of your van, two minute walk and you're on the sand and the water is just unbelievable. That's right, and if you've got a big family, you can juggle some things around. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> so just out of Geraldton in Western Australia, Fig Tree Crossing. Donation camp, this one. Nice country feel about it, can have a campfire, meet up with your friends. Room for big rigs, great spot. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, moving our way right around WA, I'll have a go, G Gumbin Cliff Rest Area. Mm, in the Mueller Ranges, mm. up on the cliff face, absolutely stunning. The Welcome sun... to the Kimberley region. <laughs> the sunsets were absolutely spectacular, unbelievable. How much, Lise? <sighs> the best price, it was free, free. absolutely still... free. This is current prices, guys. We did our trip, as I said, a couple of years ago, and we've just, for, for the purpose of this video, we've rechecked the prices. Some things have gone up just a tad, some things are still for free, That's which right. uh, 
which is really, really great. And when know. it comes with something like a dump point and a toilet, even better. Mary yeah. Pool rest area. Another, another gem. This was one of my favourites. I couldn't tell you how big the land is for this particular rest area. However, the cows that just walk through your campsite, yeah, unbelievable. Up. They walk right up to your doors and they're friendly and it was just a fanta fantastic stay. Give us the price, son. Free. Free. Yes, I believe there's a limit. Um, on there from memory it was two nights or three nights but free unbelievable now if you're into beach camping press pause and write this down lucky bay beach camp at Calbarry, still in wa of course uh 15 bucks now guys they're million dollar views 15 bucks a night unbelievable we just camp right on the sand just fa fabulous hopeton 48 hour rest area in wa down the bottom end Backs onto the beach, absolutely fabulous. 48 hour limit. Got to have grey water tanks, guys. The rangers come around and they do check. But look, we found all that uh, process extremely friendly. And easy to walk into town. Yep, walk up to town. Um, and at, it's a, this is a small site, this one. Just like uh, maybe a dozen vans. That's about it. Mm. So get in early. Yes, that was uh, that's our suggestion. Get in early. Now, into the Northern Territory. Oh, one of the one of the gems of Australia, really. Not a lot of free camping at Kakadu. There are campgrounds in there, but they are paid. I think from memory, around twenty five dollars. We found a free one. We did just outside of Kakadu, and it was called Harriet Creek Rest Area. Again, sort of like a roadside rest, but off the road quite a bit. Full of dirt and dust, but the kids had a ball. Didn't they? This is oil painting stuff. Do not miss the West McDonnell Ranges. Everyone does Uluru. Now, Uluru is quite spectacular. I get it. The West McDonald Ranges blew my mind. It did. We weren't expecting... Northern Territory. ...what we got. And it was just, like Shannon says, oil painting, spectacular backdrops, free camp spots all throughout there. Yeah. When... Too, too many to mention, but we absolutely had a fabulous time in the West McDonald Ranges. Yeah, we didn't pick a specific one. Uh, I can't even really remember where the, the one we stayed was, but uh, multiple rest areas, guys, because you can just basically pull up anywhere. It is a national park. All the national park uh, laws apply. So, But knock yourself out. Enjoy it. Uh, it it's life-changing. That's how beautiful that part of Australia is. Moving across to the Sunshine State, of course, also known as Queensland, Calliope River Rest Area. You get this one at the best price too, and oh my goodness, it's beautiful. There's a north side and a south side, and there's room for hundreds of campers. And even though you might think, oh, I don't want to camp alongside hundreds of campers, it, you have that much space, you don't feel like you're on top of anyone. And to say peaceful at night, understatement, it was just beautiful. You can fish there too, if you're a keen fisherman, when the tide's right. Yeah. Now, this was an unusual one. We discovered this on our second lap. Uh, staying behind a cafe. Now, don't frown on staying behind RSL clubs, bowling clubs, pubs, pubs uh, old churches, in a showground, behind a local community hall for a donation. We have done them all. Uh, and look, you meet some really good friends. Uh, if you're staying behind a pub or a club, you can, uh, they appreciate uh, patronage, uh, example, a beer or having a meal there. Uh, but this one was a different one, Flaggy Rock Cafe, $10 a night, they make great coffee, it's on the Bruce Highway in Absolutely. Flaggy Rock. Uh, we'll give it a go. Yeah, it was just a good overnighter. And not just staying behind the cafe, it was really pretty, uh, little lakes with lily pads in the water and hundreds of birds and just a really cute spot. This one's an unusual one, Mary Kathleen Mine. This isn't far out of, this is south of Mount Isa. Uh, very, very different place. You're allowed in there to go in and look at this uranium mine. And the best price again, guys, it was for free. And you can stay near the mine and then you can wander all through the old township of Mary Kathleen. Uh, and there's remnants of where the town once was. It's a ghost town, basically. A lot of campers there these days and something really interesting to teach the kids. A little bit of history there. Saunders Beach Rest Area. This is part of Townsville and there is a two-night limit. It's absolutely free. Just need to make an online booking with Townsville Council. There's only six spots, so you need to make sure you do get a booking and get in early, but it's a great location right on the beach there, and we had a great time. Facilities uh, was toilets. There was a toilet block, barbecue facilities, and a playground, and you're allowed to have your pets. Now, this is an unusual one. 
Yellabon, Queensland, the Waimo Street Campground. Forgive me if I pronounced Waimo incorrectly. Ten bucks a night. And the actual amenities block is an ex-railway station that's been craned in there and, and turned into amenities block um, for your convenience. They supply firewood. You can have a fire pit there for the night. And uh, it's got a good vibe. Uh, I would liken it to a showground. That's what it feels like. Uh, it's just on the outskirts of town or on the edge of town. The facilities were fa fabulous. The well, toilets, the showers. There was a little herb garden to help yourself to. Just really, really happy vibe to it. Oh, it's a country feel. Now, remember I said about pubs? Nindagully Pub, Queensland's oldest still operating pub. Uh, again, free. They just uh, appreciate the patronage into the pub. And look, why wouldn't you? It's a really, really cool pub to go and visit. There's a huge area for a lot of vans and campers to stay the night there. And a lot of people like to attempt the massive hamburger on their menu. Yeah. Search it up. It is huge. Now, down into New South Wales. Um, look, there's so much free camping around Australia, but um, I'll do, we just rattle off a couple every state. This one, the Bogan River. Yeah, funny name, Bogan River. It's at Ningen. And absolutely free. I would liken it to Plush's Bend on the yeah, Murray River. Yeah, it's kind of like it the Murray like River. That. Yeah, you could have a campfire right by the river there, and it was really peaceful, and there's a lot of room for other campers. Yeah. It was really nice. Just out of town. Uh, now, if you're a bit of a horsey type sort of person and you, and you love the mountains, Kosciuszko National Park have a beauty. For six bucks a night, you can stay at Bullock's Hill Campground. A lot of horsey sort of people get in there, and, but even if you're not a rider, uh, look, you can just enjoy the valley views. Uh, I did a bit of drone work through Kosciuszko National Park. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's a place to be in summer more so because it gets really snowed in, obviously, during winter, which would require you to have, you know, suitable vehicles with chains and whatnot. But have a crack at Kosciuszko National Park in uh, summertime. Very, very spectacular. Now, if the country boy is still coming out in you, Gundagai, New South Wales, a uh, little rest area there, uh, free. It's just... called Morley's Creek RV Rest Stop. It's uh, one or two streets back from the main part of town, easy to walk to, really cute country feel to it. Yeah. Really nice. Yep, so if you are on the road, make sure it's to Gundagai. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> still manages to get the dad jokes the dad in at a Moga pub. This is also in New South Wales, in a town called Tabletop. Everybody knows uh, the Edamoga pubs, and you can camp here for free. They do like patronage, so we did go in on a winter's day and get a nice hot soup with a crusty was. bun. Oh, geez, it was nice. Silverton, just out of Broken Hill. Uh, now, if you love the Outback, you are going to fall in love with uh, the New South Wales version of the Outback with Broken Hill and Silverton. Don't, and I repeat, do not miss... The Silverton Outback Camel Farm. It's, it was a hoot. It's 10 bucks, and uh, it is an absolute menagerie. There's all sorts of animals. There's geese, ducks, emus, cranky emus, yeah. uh, camels, donkeys, pigs. I've never seen such a big pig in my whole entire life. Roosters, Maybe cows, water buffalo. water buffalo, sheep. You name it, there was everything. We all had a ball, we absolutely loved it, and it was something certainly different and something that you must do if you're in the Silverton area. Yeah, it's safe to say the kids loved it, but we did too. Yeah. Victoria, oh my God, what a beautiful part of Australia. Shannon does love Victoria. I love the high country and I love the mountains, and Victoria is, in a word, it's pretty. They are a very good state for free camping as well. It doesn't matter in their national parks or whatnot, they have plenty of free sites are available something that i think some of the other states should uh follow yeah oh uh, first came off the rank Walhalla in victoria it's an old gold mining town it's called the thompson bridge campground it is absolutely free gold, only, uh, get that a, gold mining town's free. free yeah there's only a few spots where we were but there is another camp spot in town which i believe is also free um great little spot you can hop on the train and go through the little town and go through the little village. Yeah. And, oh, it was just something out of yesteryear. To step was, back was, in time. Yeah, it was interesting. And, and the kids actually got a kick out of seeing, yeah, all the old places. Yeah. Green Hill Lake Reserve, free. It's in Ararat, Victoria. We only stayed an overnighter here, but uh, plenty of room for your big rigs on the outskirts of town. Uh, look, for lake camping, it was pretty. It was 
spectacular. The amount of um, water taps, dump point, toilets, big open spaces. It was pretty. The sunsets were killer. Like I said, a lot of space, ducks, just beautiful. Really, really pretty and free. Unbelievable. Hamilton's Crossing Camp Area. Uh, this was a hidden gem. We didn't expect it was going to be that good. We stayed a couple of nights here. We did. We stayed a couple of nights. And it, it's in a place called Barring Up West in Victoria. It was about 30 minutes south, south of Bendigo. And it was a top spot. The minute we pulled up, we knew we weren't staying overnight. We wanted to stay longer. Right along a little river, we had campfires. Uh, we cooked our meals on the campfire as well. Bonnie was able to get out and have a little walk around. And it was just tops. Nug Nug Reserve. Look, uh, this was free. Was it ever free? I can't remember whether it was free when we went or whether it was the um, $7.50. I don't remember. But mm. again, um, Cheap, a though. fellow camper put us onto this one. And this is a thing about travelling and meeting fellow tra travellers is that they give you um, their top spots to camp at. And sometimes it, it's fantastic. It was great. We are able to have campfire. We taught Chloe to ride a bike there. We did. Uh, we just had a great time. Again, nice country feel about it. Tasmania, one of the hidden gems. Why doesn't why don't many people go to Tasmania? Because it's you know it, it, its accessibility is not easy. I get that's it. That's right. I mean, it is expensive to go over on the spirit of Tasmania. So you go over there, you want to make it worth your while. That's right, and you want to be able to budget for it. Exactly. So first cab off the rank, free Kentish Park at Lake Barrington. Good little spot. Uh, again, riverside sort of camping, country, wilderness. Um, just beautiful, accessible. It was just a really nice spot. Not too far out of the little town of Sheffield. If you're a bit of a uh, country boy, this was my pick in Tassie. Uh, this is on a private property, so you've got to call ahead. The Watermill Cottage Campground. It's 10 bucks, which is a bargain. It's just out of... It's just out of Beaconsfield. Beaconsfield, yeah, yeah the about, mining town. It was about 10 k's north of Beaconsfield. So if you're going to do the mine tour, then it's worth your while to just head 10 k's north, $10 a night on this beautiful little private property. It has a little uh, lake with water mill, water lilies. Yeah. A caretaker comes around at night to collect your money and it has a great vibe. There's plenty of room for campers and yeah. we were uh, <laughs> blessed with good weather when we were there. So it was just really pretty. And it's the real deal, guys. You get the uh, elderly gentleman, the caretaker, the owner of the property. He cruises around on a quad bike, says good day, give him ten bucks. He leaves you alone, and oh my God, what a property to love! What's there not to love? Mm. It was just so pretty. Ted's Beach, Lake Pedder. This is a free camp spot, and it's just out of Strathgordon with a massive big dam. Ah, uh, Shannon flew the drone over the dam wall and it was just spectacular. But the beach camp itself was really cool. You have to pay a national park pass to go through that area anyway, but it includes free camping at any of the camp spots. And Ted's Beach was fantastic. We parked just up from the water. We met some fellow, quite a few fellow travelers. Some were on adventure bikes, some were in tents, and again, like us, in motorhomes. And it was just unreal. To finish off guys, uh, there are numerous, countless free roadside stops all around Australia. Uh, you couldn't possibly name them all and they're forever changing. Some uh, areas get closed off, uh, some areas get reopened to the public. Some, so, are just, some are just gravel pits, some are roadside stops, some are massive big areas with a dump point yeah. or toilets. And you know what? Don't be, um, don't turn your nose up at them. Some of them have turned out to be great spots for us. Yeah. You meet fellow travellers, campers, we've done homeschooling. Don't drive days. past the dust bowls. Yeah. Some of them got a vibe. So there you have it. It's all yours. Go and enjoy it all. And look, yes, take our word for it. We don't lie. We're on our second lap. <laughs> so proof in the pudding, we're actually out here doing it. That's it. It really is that good. And uh, we're discovering new camp spots all the time. We've revisited some old ones. But boy, oh boy, there's some new ones too. Yeah. And we just want to share it with you all. You know, yeah. we we have been told about some awesome places and we are wanting to share this with you. Yeah. Have a crack, guys, and just love it. Yes. Hooroo. See ya.